Welcome ulit sa channel natin. So ngayon, magbibigay tayo ng napakasimpleng uh, sample problem para sa torsional shearing stress. So, babasayan lang natin yung problem dito. Hindi na kailangan ng figure, no? Sobrang uh, simple lang. Okay. So, steel shaft 3 feet long. So, ito yung length natin. Nasa diameter 4 inches. So, walang ibang binigay ng diameter. Ibig sabihin, solid shaft to. Okay? And subjected to a torque of 15 keep foot. Determine the maximum shearing stress. So, uh, stress max. And then, the angle of twist theta. Use G or yung modulus of rigidity natin. Rigidity, uh, rigidity natin na uh, 12 times 10 to the 6 uh, PSI. Okay? So, unahin natin yung uh, shearing stress. So, for solid shaft, again, kasi wala naman ibang binigay na diameter. Ito yung equation natin for uh, maximum shearing stress. 16T divided by pi D cube. So, substitute lang natin yung mga binigay na values. So, we have the T or the torque is 15. Tapos, uh, convert lang natin yung feet kasi naka-inches yung diameter natin. You know? So, inches para consistent tayo. No? Naka-PSI or KSI yung stress max natin. Okay? So, 12 over 1. Tapos, uh, ito. Diameter is 4 inches. And then, evaluate. Sa calculator, madali lang. Stress max is 14.324. Hindi na natin ito convert uh, KSI yung resulting na uh, unit. Kasi ito, inches, ito makakancel yung feet. So, inches sa isang inch dito mawawala, inch square yung matitira. So, meron kang uh, capes per inch square or that's uh, essentially KSI. Okay? So, ito yung maximum shearing stress natin sa shaft na to, no? And then, uh, second uh, required is yung angle of twist. So, TL ni JJ, JG pala, JG. So, yan yung uh, equation natin for angle of twist. Meron tayong T, may L, uh, J, meron tayong equation ito, tsaka G na binigay din. Okay? So, substitute natin. Ito yung torque, 15 kips uh, foot. Tapos, ito yung length na 3 feet. Tapos, meron kang, uh, ito yung equation ng ating uh, J pag solid uh, shaft or cylinder. Pi D4 over 32. So, D natin is 4 inches. Substitute lang natin. Tapos, ito yung binigay natin na, binigay sa atin na G. Okay? So, meron tayong PSI dito, tsaka merong dalawang feet. So, kakonvert natin una yung uh, feet. 12 inches is 1 foot squared kasi dalawa. Tapos, kakonvert natin yung kips to pounds para hindi na natin ito convert yung nasa ilalim. Okay? So, magkakancel to. Kakancel yung dalawang feet. Ang matitira dito is uh, wala na, no? So, inches squared. Ito rin, magkakancel dito sa inches squared yan. Tapos pounds, pounds magkakancel. Ang matitira is walang unit, kundi radians lang matitira. No? 0 0.0215 radians. So, radians automatic yung unit ng angle pag wala ng unit nakasama. Okay? So, kung gusto natin i-convert to sa degrees, mumultiply lang natin ito ng uh, 180 divided by pi. Okay? Kasi 1 pi radian is uh, 180 degrees. Tapos, ang resulting answer natin is 1.23 degrees. Okay? So, yan na yung angle natin of twist. So, ganun yung transfer value na isang point from the original to the other. So, again, yung discussion natin ng angle of twist ay nasa introduction part. So, kung ano yung nire-represent nitong value na ito. Okay? So, yan na yun para sa problem na to. So, I think, uh, ano, sana, sana, uh, may natutunan kayo kahit pa paano. Okay? So, ganun lang yung pag-apply ng equations natin for torsional sinus stress. Again, kung nagustuhan niyo yung mga videos sa atin, palike na lang para, yun, uh, mas madaling masearch, saka mas madaling ma-reach out. Okay, so thank you ulit and see you sa next na videos natin. Thank you.